guys what is up this is Mihai and welcome to a brand new video let me ask you something is the battery one of the top five things that are most important to you when buying a new phone smartphones are getting increasingly slimmer displays are getting bigger and bigger but batteries aren't in fact they haven't been improved in any way in over a decade and even if you are one of the lucky ones with a big battery and an extremely energy efficient phone there comes a time even for you, when you have to charge it. And uh, nowadays there are more options than ever to do that. And this video will analyze the newest of those options. As you might have already figured, we are going to talk about wireless charging and more specifically about Samsung's new wireless charging standard, which was introduced with their new wireless charger duo pad. The new version of this technology is called Fast Wireless Charging 2.0 and what Samsung is trying to achieve with this is to close down the gap in charging speed between wireless and wired charging. Wireless charging has been around for a few years now but it had some major drawbacks as is the case with most new technologies. So this is all well and good and a cool feature to have but as I just mentioned there's at least one big problem and that is the charging speed. Most wireless chargers have charging speed of 5 to 7.5 watts, which translates to charging times of approximately 4 hours or even more to charge your device to 100% capacity. Samsung's new standard in theory doubles the speed by having 12 watts. By comparison, uh, their wired charging with adaptive fast charge uh, tops at 18 watts. Therefore, it sounds like it's getting pretty close to speeds previously achieved only through a cable. Alright, so enough numbers and theories, this could all be just marketing, right? So let's do a real life test and see how much of an improvement this really is. As you can see on the duo pad, the fast charge 2.0 is only available on the left side. The right one is only having the first generation of fast charge, which is anyway quicker than most wireless chargers, topping at around 9 watts. Okay, so let's first try charging by cable, adaptive fast charge that is. I will plug it and we'll see. So, as you can see, it's at 58% and it takes about 15 minutes until fully charged. That's not bad, not bad at all actually. Then, we will try fast charge. I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, with fast charge, it says one hour and four minutes until fully charged. So that's also not bad at all. But then we have fast charge 2.0. Let's try that one. Oh there is a difference. <laughs> so we have 49 minutes now until fully charged. That's a uh, quite a considerable difference when uh, it comes to charging time. I would recommend using the secondary pad, the one on the right, for uh, accessories and other devices like uh, the new Galaxy Buds earphones or any other wireless charging uh, compatible device like a smartwatch for example. So, in conclusion, there are definitely some improvements and if wireless charging could have been considered a gimmick or a marketing stunt with no real practical value until recently, now there are more benefits with fewer drawbacks than ever to go wireless. Not having to plug and unplug your device every time and just putting it on your desk and uh, having it start charging automatically with speeds comparable to wired is quite a nice feature to have and I gotta say that I um, like the direction into which we are headed technology wise. A few other details you might uh, want to know. Uh, the duo pad comes at the price of 99 bucks and uh, also to be mentioned is that the wireless fast charge feature is compatible with any device that has the wireless QI standard but the fast charge 2.0 technology will only work with Galaxy S10 devices for now. Alright guys that's been it, thanks for watching and uh, if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech. I'll catch you guys in the next one.